Hello friends, happy full moon in Cancer, happy lunar eclipse, happy January 10th, if <laughs> we're gonna cut right to it. Uh, Caroline here, thank you for dropping in. <sighs> if you're new here, typically I ramble for the first couple of minutes and then we drop into a meditative space with creative words and space for you to be and breathe and flow it within so as to move beyond from this space in an intuitive way a creative way whatever calls to you so if you would like and if you're not already there you can find your way to a comfortable seat or recline down lay in a field or sit on your couch grab a drink if you'd like right now i'm sitting with cacao so i'm feeling called to her energy that plant medicine energy and it's guiding me through all these words so if you do want to sip cacao and have that available to you he might do so but yeah extra long intro today um I'll start by sharing a bit about this full moon that I've channeled and then we'll get into a meditation. So this full moon is the last before, excuse me, before our lunar new year. So it will be the first new moon of the lunar lunar calendar. And this full moon is pretty epic. It's in the midst of eclipse season and eclipse seasons happen around this time of year late december into january and also typically around july and august in the summer in the northern hemisphere and eclipse season acts as a portal so following this full moon is a really prime time for reintegration and right now is prime time to flow and surrender because it can feel like these transits that the planets are making <clears throat> are incredibly more poignant and push-pull than usual for lack of a better phrase uh, so finding space and using your vocal abilities however you express yourself in a way that respects your present boundaries and honors those around you and honors your needs simultaneously so that is just some wisdom for these eclipse seasons in general for this full moon in particular it's a time of refined flow where we're able to dig deep with ease but there's a sort of slow burn in this shedding. It can feel like you're so close to something, but you're not quite there yet. As if, if you're trying to break out of a cycle, you're almost there, but something keeps appearing. As if you're wandering in circles, or just you need a twig to snap, to, to break the haze, to snap you back into the present moment so that you can see clearly and i think this full moon tomorrow will really or today if you're listening today on the 10th will really guide us into that so we'll move into a meditation now so i'll begin to guide you there and if it's comfortable for you and you aren't already in this in this shape this bit of the practice you might drop your eyes shut and begin to turn your gaze within so as to dial up your awareness of your breath and become acutely aware of all of the ebbs and flows of your being so take about three cycles inhale exhale of breath and then we'll begin No matter how you have landed, allow your breath to 
hold your focus for the first few moments here and notice its qualities, its depth and its texture. And take the next few moments to simply check in with yourself, check in with how our words just before we dropped in here resonated with you, how they compare to what you're experiencing in this full moon, full, full moon portal. And then I'll ask you to shift your focus to your mind's eye and envision a shoreline. Bit rocky, but you're standing there, a shoreline in your mind's eye. And the tide is ebbing and flowing in tune with your breath. And there's no need to change your breath. You're allowing for your natural flow to show you the way. So you're standing on the shoreline, you're gazing at the tide as it dances with the sand. And you might feel called to simply stand and stare out at the horizon or you might be into walk. Walking slower than you ever had. Appreciating the movement the muscles in your feet and up your legs, how they carry you along the shoreline in your mind's eye. And you can feel the rocks on this rocky beach under the arch of your foot in every step. You maneuver them with ease for you feel connected to this piece of earth. And you're walking and you're gazing down or you're standing and you're gazing down. Perhaps you took a seat on the beach and you're sitting down and the stones which were thrown in by that wild and unruly sea. They seem to be placed in a way that is there to show you something. What I mean to say is the stones have stories that are aching to tell you. For the sea brought them into you. And the moon above it all allowed for the sea to do just that, to carry these gifts, these earthly gifts sent down from the ether of the cosmos, dug out of the sea for you. No matter how small, pebble-like, no matter how covered in algae or seaweed, you're gazing stones, perhaps new from lava flow or ancient and polished, and you're able to hear, see, feel, envision what they are telling you, you messages from the moon brought to you by the sea, held now in these stones on the shoreline. You hear them in every step, every brush of your fingertip against them. Every breath as your inhales and exhales become one with the tides once more and you can feel the sea brushing against them and feeling into what they have to tell. 
for they are the integrity and the dignity of our lands. And they dance with that feminine flow of the sea. They are the refined product of flow. They know the ways of the balance of duality and they would like to show you They would like you to lean into that mother energy of the sea and the moon. Allow yourself to be carried by them for your sake and theirs. And I'll take a few moments here and simply breathe and be in your mind's eye. Wonder or sink into stillness as you feel fit. If you would like to remain in this meditation for a bit longer, you're more than welcome to do so. You might pause the video now in order to allow for this. As you're ready, we'll find our way out. Beginning to shift your breath as needed so as to reawaken and noticing what shifts are needed in order to feel awakened once more to the external and if your eyes were shut you can blink them open taking a moment granting yourself space to simply be before moving on with your day and your time under these lunar portals notice how you feel called to be or move into the next space and stage of your day or night. Honor these needs to the best of your present ability. Thank you for sitting with me in this meditative creative space, for sharing with me in these practices and tuning in to the gifts of lunar cosmic wisdom and how they can connect also subtly within. There's more of my sharings in the description box and if you feel as if these meditations, these words have resonated with you today, you might like, subscribe or comment. Feel free to make requests or um, share any reactions, any experiences with this meditation and if you want to talk to me personally about that, you're more than welcome to send me an email or pop me um, a message on Instagram. I'll be sure to reply. Thank you again. Happy full moon and blessings to you. Blessed be.